Hi, I'm John Harris, and this is Chesapeake Light Craft's new Oxford Shell, a 21-foot recreational rowing shell that you can build from a kit or plans. What we were looking for with the Oxford Shell 2 was a somewhat sleeker, lighter, stiffer, and a faster rowing shell than the first Oxford Shell, which was designed in 1996. Now, this is a uh, monocoque construction shell. It's all three millimeter Okumi plywood with a thin layer of glass right round uh, the inside and outside. And um, uh, the result is uh, it's about 40 pounds without the rigging. So uh, very light as recreational shells go and very fast. Um, see longer water line length, and, uh, and a very fine bow, but plenty of rocker so that the boat still handles well in waves. The whole structure of the boat is uh, kind of an integrated egg crate assembly. Um, there are not many frames, there are a few, uh, but not many. Uh, the wash box is, is all part of the hull, uh, whereas in um, rowing shells of the 1930s and so on, the, the wash box was a couple of planks on the side and so forth. So we've made the, the boat lighter and stiffer by making this all integral. It's still a very dry boat and we've had no trouble at all with water coming aboard even in choppy conditions. Unlike some of our other rowing boats, the sliding seat components are also integral. Uh, we have uh, tracks here um, for the sliding seat that are built into the boat. The seat comes out easily uh, for travel. So this is a reinforced deck step uh, for stepping into the boat. The bottom of the cockpit is also reinforced so that you can step there. A lot of rowers, especially ocean rowers, uh, are going to install a retractable self-baler uh, in the cockpit here. It's ready for that. Uh, very easy to install. Uh, they're called Anderson type balers or Elvstrom balers. And they fold down and uh, uh, use the Venturi effect to uh, drain the water out of the cockpit. Not that this cockpit can hold very much water, but uh, uh, if you were in really rough conditions, then a baler could be helpful. The foot stretchers uh, are adjustable. Uh, anyone up to 6'8", 6'10", someone who's very tall and is going to be fine uh, in this rowing shell. Uh, the riggers this time are uh, by uh, Wintech. Um, again, they're integrated into the structure of the boat. Um, super rigid and uh, also they come out with four snaps, uh, quick as it, quick as you can uh, you can think it, and um, extremely stiff and um, and light. So uh, uh, it's worked out really really well. Um, underneath we have uh, the usual skeg. Uh, that's plenty strong. You can put this boat down on a dock. Uh, you don't really have to treat it like it's an eggshell. Um, it's strong enough to be used and abused.
With me is Nikki Stimson of Chesapeake Light Craft. She's a professional rowing coach and has been a major partner in the design of the new Oxford shell. Uh, Nikki, what are some of the things that intermediate rowers are looking for in a recreational shell? I think stability is the number one thing. You know, they want to make sure they feel secure in the boat while they're rowing along, um, especially if you encounter choppy conditions. Mm -hmm. And, um, and the lightness, I think stability and lightness, so they're able to carry it around. Off Get the it car. off the car. Exactly. Yeah. How, how would you compare this uh, recreational shell with other recreational shells that you've tried in terms of stability and speed? When I first got in this boat, I was amazed with how light it was. Um, it, it just picked up right away. And then stability, one of the first things I did was, was pop both oars out of the water and, and slide back and forth in this boat just gave me no problems at all. And I was really excited just how stable this boat was and feel very secure in choppy conditions. Right, so you've actually tried it in some waves mm -hmm. and you feel like uh, there's not a nose diving issue no. and, and, and um, no major loss of stability as, as you go over swells no, and things this like that. It's yeah. like a cork right over the waves. Yeah, terrific. Yeah. yeah, that was really what we were going for. And, and uh, how, how about speed? I mean, I know you've raced this boat um, in, some, in some regattas. Um, how do you think this stacks up on the, uh, the, the field of recreational shells, which, which go from very, very wide to, you know, really basically almost yeah. racing shells? No, I think this could be very competitive and across the board, you know, air sprint races, coastal regattas, and especially head races. Would be a Fantastic, great boat. yeah, you know, like a master's boat or mm -hmm. uh, definitely a master's um, boat, or also as a trainer uh, for high school, for for high school yeah. college uh, mm -hmm. folks getting into singles. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, terrific. Thanks so much, sure. Nikki. No problem. Find the new Oxford shell at clcboats.com. For Chesapeake Lightcraft, I'm John Harris.